In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the three types of properties that can be attached to an object. So the first type of property that we can attach is what's known as an instance property. So I'm going to create a new instance property here on this widget object. We'll call it instance func. It's simply just going to be a function that actually outputs a line of text to the console. So we'll just say an instance func was called. Now we're going to create another type of property. We're going to create a prototype property. So we're actually going to put this one right off the prototype of the widget object. And we'll call this a prototype func. Just like this, and we'll do console.log a prototype func was called. There we go. The third type of property that we can have is what I call a static property. So we're going to create a static func. We're going to create this right off of the uh, widget function object. Put a function on here. And uh, we'll just have it output console.log a static func was called. There we go. So now we're going to come down here and we actually have a widget object that we've instantiated. And we're actually going to call the instance method. So we'll do my widget uh, an instance func. And we will save that. And then we are actually going to load this up in a web browser. And we will view the console. And an instance func was called as we expected. So we can see that now that we've newed up this widget, we can actually call the instance func. Let's go ahead and see if we can call the prototype func. And we are going to save that. And now we are going to reload this. And there we see a prototype func was called as well. So we not only were able to call the instance function, but it actually checked the prototype of the object. And we were able to call that prototype function as well. Finally, let's see if we're able to call our static function. So we'll do my widget, a static func. And we will reload the page in our web browser. And we'll see we get an error saying that a static func is not a function. What happened here? Basically, a static func is, func is actually defined on the widget function object itself. It doesn't actually get created when we instantiate a new widget here. So if we actually wanted to call this, we just have to actually remove the word my. And we just call this widget a static func. And then now if we reload our page, our static function will be called. There we go. So when, when would you choose to use one type of function over another? If you need a function for your instance, but you don't need to inherit that function from one object to the next, then an instance function is fine. So this is a function for, or let's say a property for an instance, but inheritance, inheritance of it is not needed. On the other hand, a prototype property will be inherited by other objects based upon that prototype. And then finally, we have our static function. Typically, these are used to configure the object for instantiation. So perhaps a good example would be a, an actual variable property as opposed to a function property. We could do uh, widget um, my config value. And we could just set it equal to true just to demonstrate this. And then we could actually come up here. We could copy that. And then we could come into here and we could actually check to see if this is set to true. And then we could perform some type of additional configuration. 
based upon the setting of that property on the actual widget function object. So as you can see, there's three different ways of attaching properties to JavaScript objects. It just depends upon what you need to use that property for to decide whether or not to make it an instance property, a prototype property, or a static property. As with all things related to software development, everybody has an opinion on how to set up and, and use these various property types and how to architect your JavaScript objects and everything else. The key is make sure you make reasonable design decisions and make sure you, you, you create an application that actually solves your customer's problem. And if you do that, you'll be good to go.